I'm kind of surprised that more people aren't more interested in the past. I mean, I think as a society, we gain a lot of different things from preserving media. I think um, it gives us the ability to, to grow, to keep building on um, efforts started by previous generations. I mean, I think all media has in common that it will break down over time. It might be a longer or shorter time, but without attention to it. And so um, they all kind of need some level of attention. Things like the concept of inherent vice, um, which is when materials uh, are responsible for their own degradation and destruction. So things like highly acidic newsprint um, has an inherent vice because it's always destroying itself. Yeah, you can kind of capture nuances to a moment if you see a, a video recording or even an audio recording rather than say a text description of an event. It's more and more people have smartphones, are capturing photos and capturing video. Um, you know, that's just more and more central to the ways that the human experience is being documented. I think students uh, visiting the Evergreen Archives can get a sense of themselves and their own educational experience as being part of, of something larger and see the previous uh, generations of students, what was the same, what was different. If we don't have archives, we we lose our, our understanding of where we've come from, I think. Especially here in the Evergreen Archives, Evergreen is such an experimental school, and I think the archives are really the, the data, and so we have no way of kind of evaluating or continuing the, the experiment.